Alright, so what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary E and we are back here for another episode of the Chicago Bulls My GM. Yo, if you guys missed my video yesterday, I did do a realistic rebuild with the LA Lakers and today I do plan on double uploading so stay tuned. I do have a video coming after this or it's already up. But just make sure to go ahead and uh, like up this video for another episode of this series. And let's get 200 likes for another episode, man. And if you guys are brand new, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe. In this episode, I am going to be simming through uh, the rest of the season, starting the playoffs, and going through round one. I'm not going to be doing the entire playoffs in this video. Probably only round one. And if we get a sweep, I might even go on to round number two, man. But currently, we have a record of 64-16. and 16, And we're the number one team in the Eastern conference man target list Dwayne Wade can be on it but it's really just LeBron if we can get Braun it's a W but unfortunately his contract is probably gonna be lot it's probably gonna be lasting longer than uh this series is um but anyways just getting straight into everything else man the the squad is looking phenomenal right now y'all um everybody's just pretty much on fire as far as the stats go let's see First of all, Sewell says that we are rebuilding. I, I think that we're doing a little bit more than uh, rebuilding. But standings-wise, we are finishing eight games ahead of the Bucks. They are in the second seed. And stats-wise, um, Clay, Clay Thompson's points per game did go down. Uh, but yo, Mo Bamba is balling. In, in the last in the last video, he was the number one candidate for the MVP and Defensive Player of the Year. And in, in the, I think Zach Levine was like second for the sixth man. Unfortunately, this man Giannis has taken over. In the MVP races, leaving Mo Bamba in second place, and honestly, that's probably where he's gonna be finishing off. Like, that's probably where he's gonna be finishing off. He's 20 years old. He's 20, so this is his second year in the league. So it's really, it's really whatever. We're still gonna have plenty of opportunities to win the MVP. Uh, we have no rookies that are that are in contention for rookie of the year. Uh, Zach Levine fell to number three and six man of the year. I think that he should win it over all these guys. He, he's having a bigger impact. He's averaging more points. He's doing his job better than all these other guys. Mo Bamba is looking like he's about to win Defensive Player of the Year. And we have nobody for most improved. All right. But so far, I like the direction that, that this team is actually heading in. And why not check out the G League? Because Kos is onto Takumpo is balling out. Jalen Hans is doing his thing as well. We're going to be getting him next season. He's, he's going to finish off this season as a 78. And yeah, Lance LeBall, he's just been killing it, man. He's just been going off. But anyways, man, let's go ahead and let's sim out these next two games real quick. And let's get through the playoffs, man. Let's just get through the playoffs real quick. This team is playing phenomenal. Like I said before, man, we can't lose. We just cannot lose, man. Bamba, he hasn't really been doing that much like in the last like few games. But I think it's just because he's, he's starting to wind down. I mean... We already locked up this this first seed. There's really not much more to it. Unless Giannis plays terrible, Giannis is getting the MVP. And we finish out this point this this season on a winning streak. He finishes his last regular regular season game with 22 points and 21 rebounds and seven blocks. Man was nasty, man. The man was nasty. And getting into the awards, man. Like I said. The MVP goes to Giannis. He's 25 at this point, and he low-key deserved this award. They finished as a second seed, and he literally carried his team all by himself. So, I guess he, he deserves it. He averaged 26 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists, and nearly 2 steals and 2 blocks. So, I mean, he did what he was supposed to be doing. RJ Bear is rookie of the year. He went 10th overall. I tried to tell y'all. I know how he felt. It's like number 10. Nicholas Batum is 6th man of the year over Zach Levine. I think Levine got snubbed, but that's just me. Mohamed Bamba is... is our defense player of the year. He averaged 21 points, 14 rebounds, one and a half steals, and three blocks a game while shooting 52% from the field and nearly 39 from the three. Now, he thinks he should have won the, the MVP. And I got to keep it a whole book with you. I think that he did too. Rashawn Holmes is most improved. And Coach here goes to Mark Jackson as the Bulls are the best team in the NBA with a record of 66 and 16. And all right, all NBA first team is Stephen Curry, Russell Westbrook, Giannis, LeBron, and Mohamed Bamba. LeBron's, LeBron's 35 at this point. No signs of, of aggression, but we do get Mo Bamba on all NBA first team. All NBA, wait, where's Clay at? Whatever. All, all NBA second team is Ben Simmons, John Wall, Kawhi, Durant, Jokic. Third team is James Harden, Chris Paul, Davis. Levina really got snubbed out here, man. Now, we do get Bamba on first team. And we get Chris Dunn on all defensive second team himself. All rookie teams, we get nobody. Man, they was whoa, Clay Thompson, man. I, I'm so sorry for you. I guess he has zero thoughts. I think that he should. I think that he should have definitely 
of like made a team though. And Zach Levine feels like he feels like he was snubbed for six man of the year. And I, I can totally agree with that. I, I still don't get this, man. All right, let me just go ahead and let me check one more thing. Um, um season awards. Let's go to season awards or league history. There we go. All right, so Chris Dobbs led the league in points per game. Mohamed Bamba led it in rebounds per game. Assists per game went to Chris Paul. Steals was Chris Dunn for the second year in a row. Bamba led the league in blocks. Minutes was Giannis. And uh, there we go. All right, but anyways, you guys, let's get straight into it. With the first round, we are taking on the Hornets. Honestly, dog, there's no scenario here where, de- where we do not, like, completely destroy them. And since this is the playoffs, I'm sorry. The starters' minutes are only going up, and that's just facts. And that's just facts, man. Let's see what he, what he can do. And we're taking on the Hornets. Their lineup for this season, obviously, they were the AC with a record of 28 and fit. How they make the? Pl- oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta be. That has to be. That has to be wrong. That has to be wrong. All right, all right, yeah, right, yeah. That was something different. They finished out the, this year with a record of 41 and 41. Honestly, y'all, this should be easy. Their their lineup is Dante Exum, Jeremy Lamb, Sekou, Doomboya, Jaron Jackson, and Dwight Howard. And they got six man of the year, Batum, Willie Hernan Gomez. Yeah, he should not have won six man. He was on the damn eight seed. Kenneth Fareed. This team is trash. This, <laughs> this team is trash. Yo, if we don't sweep them, I'm going to actually be shocked. Like, dead ass. I'm going to for real be shocked. Now, I do plan on jumping into one of these games. Probably the decision game if we sweep these guys. Right now, it's kind of close. I don't know how it's close, though. But, hey, man. We go ahead and, and, and we take it by six points. Clay Thompson with 24 points. Four three-pointers. Bombo with 24. 13 rebounds. Two blocks. And two threes. Perfect shooting from the three. Levine with 15. Six and seven. Off the bench. Laurie with, with 15, and Chris Dunn with 13, 7, and 3 blocks and 4 steals? That's what I'm talking about. For them, it was just Jeremy Lamb. I don't know why they're here, man. I just, why are they here? They should get swept, and we're playing at home. We, we, we cannot lose to the Hornets, dog. All right, looks like we're coming back. Let's not blow it. I want to sweep. We're, we are down by one point. I'm not jumping in, in this game. Can we close this out? Seriously, we went to overtime and lost to them. Lori showed up, twenty-seven and ten. Levine showed up. Bomba w- w- was all right. Yo, what happened? Yo, don't don't let it happen again, man. It's dead ass. Do do not let that happen again. We dropped thirty-eight points on them in the first quarter. I don't want no comeback. I don't want them to win a second game at all. I don't want this series to be close. Still too close for my liking, though. But Klay Thompson dropped 31 on their heads on 6 of 10 shooting, 6% from the field. Laurie with 27 and 6. Bomber with 19 and 13 and 5 steals. That's what I'm talking about, man. I, I, I need you doing your thing on defense. Levine with 16 points. For them, this guy's balling out for him. I'm, I'm not going to lie. He 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 can't shoot a 3 to like, to, like, save his life. And he's a rookie. But, yeah, his 3, I mean, was off. All right, so we do take the two-one lead. Before we do that, we do before we do anything else. Playoff stats: Clay Thompson's bowling out, man. We just need to we just need to close these guys out in five, so we can get ready for the baby Raptors or Cleveland. I would much rather take on Toronto right now. We're down by ten. What the heck? What are y'all doing? Wow, they drop us by twenty-seven points. What are y'all doing out here, dog? How we tied 2-2 with the AC? Like, bruh. 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 Seriously? All right, thank you, y'all. Thank you. That That's how you come back, beat them by damn near 40 points. That's what I'm talking about. And we should close out this series in Charlotte, this game. If we do, I will just jump into it, man. All right, we got a, we got a pretty hefty lead on them, man. All right, there's, there's about two... So, there's about three minutes left, you guys. We are up 112 to 93. Clay Thompson has 30. Markin has 22 and 11. Bomba has 22 and 11. Levine has 11. Let's jump in this game. Let's get some gameplay. And let's close out this series in advance. All right, y'all. It's game time. Once again, uh, here's 2K cheesing with these horrible white uniforms. Okay. Let's just take this slow. 
I mean, we already we already won this game, dog. Or actually, you know what? Let's give this over to Trayvon Duvall. Wide open for the three. Dwight low-key tripped me, but it's cool. Come on, Jaron. Come on, Jaron. I'm right there, dog. Come on. Oh, this is this is such a damn mismatch. That was such a mismatch. But honestly, it don't it does not really matter. Just to be real with y'all. Get that? Light work? Light work? Matter of fact, I like Zach Levine at point guard, to be real. That that's what he was playing his rookie year and, and in college. Stop it. Give me that. Why were you trying to go up against me, dog? Knock that down, Clay. Yo, Clay sh Clay's range is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that thing is ridiculous. And we got pretty good perimeter defense from our from all of our guards, except for Zach Levine. He's the only one who does not play a lick of defense. No foul. No foul. All right, bet. It's lit. Dante Exum. This lineup is trash. I don't know how we let them take the. I don't know how we let them take six games. How 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 are we going six games with likes of this team? Oh my! Knock that down, please, dog. You gotta finish it. You had him shook. But y'all, but y'all calling that? All right. <laughs> he still can't make a free throw. <laughs> All right. Well, he missed both. Let's give this order to Zach Levine. Call for the ISO. Okay, okay. Oh, actually, know what? Come here, dog. Oh, open time. Damn it, Mo. Dude, all he had to do was just finish the play. It would have worked to perfection. Stop it. I don't know why he keeps trying to take it in against seven footers. Like, dog, it's you're not making it. Get that. Right back up. You know, Clay Thompson was doing his thing tonight. Right now, all I'm doing is messing up his three-point percentage. That's literally it. But at least we go ahead and, and we advance, though. Choking ass. Choking ass. Give me that! Damn. Yeah, but at this point, I mean, we already know that we closed out this series. Everybody did their job. Except we should not except we should have definitely have swept them like this series should not have gone this long It's the Charlotte Hornets. I mean No disrespect But this team was trash like just just, just, just just be honest like we were really out here coasting like like we we're Golden State or something man But at least we're moving on to round number two. We're taking on Cleveland or the Toronto Raptors Let's go ahead and let's see who we're taking on. At the end of this game, of course, Clay had 33. Bombo 26 and 13. Laurie with 22 and 13. Horrible shooting night for both these guys. Um, <laughs> Just be real with you. And Levine, 13, 7, and 5 off of the bench. 50% shooting. If for their team, as far as their, as their team goes, Jeremy Lamb with 21. Fareed with 18 off the bench. And yeah, we got them up out of here though. All right, and for and and for round number two, which is gonna be the next video, the Cavs did they blow a three one lead or like a three something lead? Probably a three one lead. But regardless, we are taking on the baby Raptors. Let's see if they still got the same gang. Yup. <clears throat> and now they're old. We got Kyle Lowry, and he's he's thirty four. We got we got Demar Derozan. He's thirty. C J Miles. He's thirty three. Serge is thirty. You're twenty seven. We're gonna we're gonna destroy this team. Like, like, we are going to destroy this team. Let me know if you guys are pumped for this next series, y'all. Make sure to go ahead and comment what you guys want to see next season, whether it's a trade, whether it's a free agency signing. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. I already said in, in a couple of videos ago, we're, we're going to be going after Gordon Hayward this free agency, man. We're going to be going after him, so hopefully we can actually pick him up, you guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Next episode, we are taking on the the uh, Raptors, and we might even do the conference finals if we make it that far. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace, y'all.